the ancient people was into, were into, is because I used to feel guilty about repping being out of it all the time. <laughs> to be a representative of being, uh, you know, somebody who's off their head is, uh, it's not always the best thing to be. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe it is. <laughs> But it takes a little while, but you know, you, you, need, you need a couple of decades to keep a career going. Just to say, well, you know, at least I'm keeping a career going. Yeah. It's right. a weird kind of, you know, it's a conundrum. <laughs> but um, what I did notice when I was stomping around the landscapes of ancient Britain and ancient Europe, was that wherever I went, I was discovering that it wasn't me who was out of step with the rest of society. It was that everybody was out of step with society. That authority has always tried to control us, but we're all always a bit more slack than we want us to be. And in the old days, it appears to me that the authoritarians, they themselves were slack. They couldn't control it, so they just allowed it to just go on and go on. And what I found was, uh, it's like, uh, you know what, I'm going to... Well, I'm going to play you a song that illustrates this. Because in 1994, I started wearing this big hat, like a Yoko Ono type hat. And I wore that for a very specific reason. It was because archaeologists discovered on a ridge between Beijing and the Taklamakan Desert, they found Caucasian mummies. And the guy was about my height. He was wearing a big hat. And he had sachets of ephedra sewn in to his kex. <laughs> now we can interpret this one of two ways. Because if Fed was like a long term, you know, it's like a kind of a psychedelic speed. It either meant that he had the Fedra sewn in in case he needed them as contingency when he was getting, you know, getting a bit, uh, a bit knackered from travel. Or they represented something that Fedra represented um, a kind of a, you know, a, well, kind of like Les from the Bunnymen always used to, he used to have a, a, a tab of acid just on his, um, on, on his uh, jeans, just in case he needed to drop acid. <laughs> I don't remember, I don't remember him ever actually doing it, but he was there just in case. You know, like the Puritan said, keep your gunpowder dry. There might be a cavalier around the corner. This is a song about traveling around Europe and discovering that wherever I went, ancient people were always just as out of it as we are. It's a song called They Were On Hard Drugs. <laughs>
merchants traveled with a federal and cocaine to stave off hunger or to put down a migraine. But no authorities would label them insane. Cause they were all wrong drugs. They were all hard drugs. For those of you who hear this history lesson, I hope the evidence is not too depressing But otherwise I felt that you could be guessing That they were all on drugs They were all on drugs I joke if you Tokyo drugs Mexico drugs Birmingham drugs Rather round drugs Silvery drugs Avery drugs, all cultures are hard drugs. Wow, wow. <laughs> wow, 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 <laughs> now in conclusion to my story so clinical Whenever cultures are achieving their pinnacle It's not a product of the smug and the cynical It's the ones on drugs those were all hard drugs The Stonehenge people story is telling Psychedelic mushrooms lay around Delling Came from the same place as the stones they were felling Yes, they were all on drugs They were all hard drugs I tell you if you want to lose Sun 